Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. In today's video, I am prepping to have friends over. The weather has really started to improve where we live in the UK. So we invited our friends over this weekend and this video is pretty much everything that I did before they came over. So everything that I cleaned, we also really organized our outdoor space. We decided to jet wash all of our garden furniture and get all of that organized. And I have a brand new spring and summer porch to show you that I am so pleased with and I also deep cleaned our rug I deep cleaned our couch there is nothing like inviting friends around to really make you clean your house and get organized so I hope you really enjoy this video I hope it motivates you guys and with all that said let's start with our porch so if you follow me on Instagram you may have noticed that I like to change up our porch with the season so often I'll do an autumn or Halloween porch then I'll always do a Christmas porch but this is going to be our spring and summer one and it was really filthy and in need of this so first up Matt is going to clean it he's using the leaf blower and then he's going to jet wash it as well we love to jet wash everything pretty much it is just such an effective way to really clean a space and while he's doing this I think you'll see the dirt just coming up it's amazing how much dirt came out of this space it's quite an enclosed porch so when it rains like things get in there it does actually get really quite messy you can see like the grout on the tiles coming up and yeah I couldn't believe how filthy this space actually was so it was really satisfying for him to do this so he is going to give it a really good clean sort of on the porch and just around the front of it there and then I am going to decorate it so during the half term I took the boys to our local garden center if you live in Essex I would totally recommend it my kids love it so much it's called Summerhill and I think it's in Basildon um, but they do amazing stuff for Christmas and they equally do great stuff for like spring and summer as well and we chose so many bits I joke because it's almost like a free day out they have so much fish so it's like the kids can look at the aquarium I can take the dog as well there's so much to look at there's like a calf it's like a full day out and I'm always like it's a free day out but then I end up coming home with this many plants so it's actually not a free day out because I always buy so much there but I am really pleased with my purchases so I will show you. So because our porch is quite shady I thought that faux plants would work really well on the inside part of our porch and then I have some real trees to be on the outside of it and I fell in love with these basket planters. They're really good size and I actually put a box at the bottom. I cut a KiwiCo box in half for this to give the faux plants some height and I had to buy three of each of the lavender plants to really fill it up and make it look like nice and full but I'm so pleased with how that turned out and the wreath that I bought has some purple in it so it's hopefully gonna kind of tie in then I also got these two trees now these weren't cheap like the smaller you got them the less they were I think they were 50 pounds each so it's quite a lot um, but they were called olea trees I believe and they were called spiral as well because you can see the stem kind of spirals up but I'm really gonna look after them I'm gonna to really try and not kill them and then I got these planters which were two for one so that was good um, and they're kind of like a ceramic pot but they look like a basket so I thought it would kind of all tie in and then they told me what compost to buy they actually said I need to mix two different composts together so I bought both of those and then I kind of actually mixed them in the pots themselves the man said oh just get a wheelbarrow and mix it all together and I was like I don't have a wheelbarrow but I've hopefully like hopefully this is gonna work it was tricky to get the trees out of the pots I used a knife and then I needed to get Matt to come and help me to get them out and then I kind of like roughed up the roots I basically watched a YouTube video on how to repot these trees and I followed along and I've done that so fingers crossed I'll let you know if they live hopefully they'll be fine so once they were potted all that was left to do was put the porch together so I bought a rug from Ruggable you guys know I love them 
them because they're washable. I actually prefer having a rug like this on our front porch that I can wash regularly than you know the really thick doormats that are difficult to clean. Um, I actually prefer this and then I have a tiny doormat that says hello. I actually got this on Etsy. I think it was like five pounds. Then I've got our little bench which is always on our porch no matter what's going on if it's Halloween or Christmas it's sort of there then I got these two little plants in baskets which I love and then these are where the trees are going so that's how it's looking so far and then I'm going to put my wreath clip up and then this is the wreath that I bought again I bought this from a small business on Etsy they're called 365 wreaths and I actually bought our Christmas wreath from them this year. It's just someone who hand makes them and I loved the way that it looked. I thought it would last throughout spring and summer. Of course, it's fake. So, you know, it can just be there no matter what the weather is and it will be fine. And then this is the end look. Let me know what you think. I just think it's looking so nice and clean and simple, but really effective. And, you know, it's gonna be the first impression when our guests come over. Uh, we haven't seen our friends for ages, so I thought this would be really, really nice and yeah, perfect for spring and summer. Okay, so now the front of the house is looking so much better. We're now gonna go and focus on the back of the house and our garden out of the back and our garden furniture and just tidy all of this space up. We've definitely been waiting for the change in weather to even get any of this out. We have covers on our garden furniture, covers on our outdoor kitchen as well. Matt's actually just jet washing the cover on like the barbecue area. We're not barbecuing when our friends come over, but he kind of wanted to clean it off anyway. It had like some green mold on top of it. Before the winter, Matt really took his time to cover up the garden furniture. We bought it brand new last year, same as this outdoor kitchen as well. And he turned over all of the um, cushions, he covered everything, he made it all really tight. He just didn't want it to get ruined after having it for just one year. I know you can just leave it out, but he wanted to wrap it all up. So this is how it's looking after winter. Lots of people asking what this looks like after winter. As you can see, it's been covered up pretty much. There's nothing wrong with it. Obviously the floor needs a jet wash. My favourite thing to do. Okay, so as you can see, it really wasn't that bad, but he desperately needed to jet wash the patio. I do feel like he does this a lot. I think he just really likes jet washing because although the cushions weren't that bad, it was such a hot and sunny day, he decided to jet wash a few of them. So obviously moved them all off of the patio so he could jet wash. Then he started jet washing some of the furniture just to get like all the leaves and everything off. And it was really sunny. It was like 20 and sunny when he did this and it all dried off and everything. Um, but that's all of our garden furniture for when our friends are here. And then I also wanted to show you that we actually got some sun loungers this year. We had our eye on them last year. We really wanted to get them, but we'd already bought all of this. So we were like, okay, let's just leave it for this year. Then we'll save up and for next year we will get them and they have actually come. So I will show you what they look like as well. But for now, we're gonna put the couch and there's almost like a dining table that comes with this set. Put that back. Matt is going to mow the lawn as well. I always think it doesn't even look that bad, but he's like, oh, it's so bad, I've gotta do it. So he mowed the lawn and it did actually look a bit better our garden is getting so much more like nice and green after the building work it was just awful but it is definitely coming back now and now matt's just going to put together the sun loungers so we kind of got two but you can put them together so they're like one big one and then they also come with a little table and they were super easy to put together they were pretty much ready um so this is how they're looking and that's the little table so when i'm working from home you guys I will definitely be taking 10 minutes out to sit on those and I'm so excited. Um, now I've actually come inside because the playroom 
after half term is a total mess. I also have the boys, like there's gaming equipment everywhere. Jackson's blanket is there and their Easter baskets are still there as well. We had Easter, then we went off to New York for a week and we came back, but they still have some chocolate and some treats and stuff in their baskets. I actually use the baskets from our pantry every year. I just take the contents out, use the baskets, and then once they're done, I just put them back and it just saves me having to buy Easter baskets every year. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through anything that's still left over. I put in the kitchen, but there were also a lot of wrappers and stuff like that, so I got rid of that. And then I'm just gonna clear away some of their coloring things. There was a canvas, there were things to just be put away, and I'm just gonna sort out this room because there are about nine children coming, and I know they're gonna be in this space, so I kind of just wanna tidy it up and organize it a little bit. From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front Okay, for this next bit, I'm actually a bit embarrassed at how bad these stains are, but I have been meaning to tackle this rug for so very long. It actually took us ages to realize this, but when Kiki was little, she was weeing on this rug at night. We actually used to leave all of the doors open, she was free to roam, and she was weeing on this rug, which is really nice, and I'm glad to say she doesn't do that anymore. And she also doesn't have access to this room anymore at night. Um, but the stains have been driving me crazy and I'm so glad that I finally tackled them. I was actually sent the Bissell Revolution. It's like a steam cleaner and it's amazing, but it was gifted. So I'm saying, you know, gifted here, but uh, it actually worked so well on those stains. I also cleaned some football mud off of our stairs and it's amazing for even things like jam on your carpets, like it worked so well. Um, and because this room, we actually have underfloor in here, I just turned the underfloor on and it dried really quickly, so that's great. And now I'm going to deep clean our couch. I haven't done this for ages, so I thought I would just take all of the cushions off, all of the blankets off, because we do kind of protect it give everything a really good vacuum and then I'm going to spot clean some of it as well because having a cream couch means that things do show up on it from time to time and having three kids and a dog there's going to be stuff but it actually wasn't too bad so anyway I'm just going to vacuum all of this and then at least this will be nice and clean and when our guests come around we won't have the blankets on it it will just be a cream sofa. <music> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors 
colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things... So the house is ready. Our friends should be here any minute. So this is how it's looking. Fraser actually had a friend sleep over and then the mum brought me these flowers as a thank you. How beautiful. Still got the Easter stuff out because I thought I'll put it away after today. There's the chef in the kitchen. He's been cooking a lot. This is looking tidy. It's clean, guys. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. We are ready for everyone to come over and we were so lucky with the weather. And obviously, I pretty much focused on the downstairs of our house. I'm hoping that not many people will go upstairs. And Jackson was setting up this giant Jenga in our garden. The boys were ready to play football. And yeah, we had a really lovely time. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. Here's the new sun loungers again. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>